Hey guys, it is Alana. I have not done this in a good like seven months. I'm wearing this hat because my hair was greasy this morning and I had to go outside and get food, but I didn't want to look like gross and I never took it off. I look like a soccer mom. <laughs> I'm actually looking at my channel right now. It's been seven months since I last posted. My move-in video from freshman year has 86,000 views right now, which I think is insane like insane i also hit 700 subscribers so thank you guys <laughs> even though i have not been active like in the slightest last year was pretty difficult starting my college experience in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> did not help now i'm a sophomore i'm in a completely different room i live alone this year last year it was just kind of difficult because everything was online i was living on campus and i could hang out with friends and stuff but I was still, I was doing classes online. So there was nothing really for me to film that was enjoyable to me, I guess. And I also didn't have much motivation because I'm one to not want to be on camera if I'm not feeling 100%. And I'm not one to want to be on camera if I'm not feeling like 100% in myself. And last year, I was struggling a lot with my acne. I didn't want to like show myself. So I kind of just, won about my the rest of my freshman year and went home for the summer my skin did get very clear over the summer when i went on vacation i went to mexico it was really fun but yeah like the sun and the salt water help a lot with acne i'm actually starting accutane very soon you're probably like your skin looks fine like you don't need accutane but i do i have a lot of like under the skin issues I'm actually touching one right now and it really hurts. I've been struggling with acne since my sophomore year of high school. And now I'm a sophomore in college. I think it's about time for me to take something that'll clear it forever, hopefully. I don't know if anyone would wanna see this, but I wanted to document my seven months on Accutane. I am going to be on it for about seven months. I just wanna document like the process. That's gonna be very hard for me to show myself on camera when my skin gets bad because I know that, you know, your skin gets worse before it gets better. You kind of just like lose hope in it working, but we'll see how it goes for me. I should be starting it soon. I'm honestly kind of scared, but at the same time excited just cause I'm ready to get rid of it. It's definitely not the worst that it's ever been right now, but it has been very bad. I do want to kind of like document my Accutane journey at school. Tell people how it's going for me and how it's affecting my college life and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. But now that my classes are in person, I really want to do like a day in my life type thing or like come to class with me. You know, like just seeing my routine of waking up going to my classes, what I do throughout the day, and stuff like that. Because that's what I always used to watch when I was in like high school. But also, I got recognized twice, which I did not expect at all. This really nice girl came up to me in the dining hall. I think her name was Angelina. But if she is watching this, please let me know if that was your name. I met you in Risley. She was the first person ever that came up to me and told me she watched my video. Another kid, his name was Nikhil. He recognized me from my video. It made my day both times. We're currently on fall break, which is why I'm in my room on a Monday afternoon. We're off today and tomorrow. And then we have class again on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna try to do like a little like wake up with me. Here's my morning routine and just my day routine. Going to class. I don't like waking up early at all. So I don't know how I'm gonna make like a whole video right when I wake up in the morning, but I'll try because I know it's possible. <laughs> That's kind of it. I just kind of wanted to catch up, but yeah, I have three classes on Wednesday. So I feel like it'll be a, a bit more eventful. So yeah, see you then. About to go to sleep. I just wanted to show you the posters I have in my room and they look really pretty right now. So I ordered these two from Shutterfly. I actually took both of those pictures. Of course I had to put up a Brooklyn bridge cause it's like, you know, part of where I'm from, so kind of cute to have it in my dorm room. And then I took this picture on campus. If you can see that, it's the clock tower at night. I also really love that picture. And then I have this butterfly one from Amazon. They're all numbered and then it has like all their names on the bottom right here. I thought it was cute. This is what it looks like.
matter of two days when I last filmed, my skin literally broke out. <laughs> As I was saying that my skin was looking pretty clear. I currently don't have any lights on in my room except my LEDs. That's because I hate my ceiling light and sometimes my lamp isn't plugged in because my charger is plugged in so also it's hot in here okay i changed now it's time for me to get my hair and my face in order I'm just putting on my jewelry right now i don't know why they're doing construction so early in the morning but i guess that's how it is so if you hear that beeping i'm sorry My hair is very hard to deal with sometimes. I end up putting it in a literal bun anyway, so. Now I'm gonna do my mascara. That's the only makeup I do because I don't have any energy to do anything else. I'm just combing out my eyes. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and my class just ended. My next class is in 25 minutes. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> My next class is just across the arts quad. So I'm gonna sit on a bench for like 20 minutes. Here's the day, the cloudy day. Of course, it's always cloudy in Ithaca. Currently sitting on a bench outside of my class. This is really awkward. Why am I the first one here? Oh my God, wait. My professor might've canceled the class, but I also didn't get an email from him because he said he was sick and that he might cancel the class and make it on Zoom. But he was like, I'm gonna send you an email if I end up making it on Zoom. But I didn't get an email, so why am I the only one here? <laughs> so I'm convinced that I did not receive the email everyone else got because the last email I have from him is him saying that he was sick and that class might be on zoom and that he would update us if there's a zoom link but i just checked all my emails and literally none were from him so i emailed him and asked him so we'll see if he responds because 
class starts in six minutes. Ended up that we didn't have class. My friend actually walked into the class because he's in it too. And he was like, why are you the only one here? And I was like, I have no idea. Um, so we actually did have class. It happened on Zoom, but I didn't get the email with the link and my professor didn't respond until like two hours later and the class had been over by then. But he caught me up on everything and he was really nice about it, so I didn't miss much. Going back into my room and just chilling. I'm gonna get lunch in an hour and then go to class at 2.30. I'm sitting in front of my fan right now because I literally started sweating but if you guys didn't realize i'm filming on my phone i don't know how the quality is gonna turn out i forgot my camera at home so <laughs> but i am going back home this weekend for a family thing and i'm gonna try to remember to bring my camera because the quality is a lot better on there it's 11:45. that class was supposed to start at 11:25 and end at 12:40. but it's fine this gives me more time to do nothing I'm gonna enjoy my graham crackers now. So a few days ago, I um, filled out a job application to work at a dining hall. I know some people are gonna have something to say about that. Well, I've heard a lot of people say, don't work at the dining halls, like it's the hardest job, whatever. But like, literally all you do is serve people food and I don't know what else, but I'm desperate and I need a job and I need to make my own money. So I applied and they got back to me and said that they want to set up an in-person interview or whatever so i'm just going to be responding to those emails right now and not much else i just left my room and i'm about to go grab lunch i have my reusable container basically cornell does this thing where they give you like a reusable container you take it home and then bring back the dirty one and they wash it, but you get a new one. I don't know if that made any sense, but basically when I get to the dining hall, I give this to them or like put it on the dish conveyor belt and then they give me a clean one just to be a little more sustainable, you know? Also, I love West Campus so much. It's so pretty, even though it's really far from everything and I have to go up the slope, I just love it. And do you hear the clock tower? It's like way back there. I got my food. I literally hate recording myself by myself. I tried my best to get clips of the food, but the dining hall people were literally just staring at me. So I was like, okay, never mind. I'm on my way back to my room. Let's do a little lunch reveal. <laughs> this looks very healthy, but half of these things are potatoes. Those are roasted red skin potatoes and those are sweet potato fries. This is like some sort of chicken with, I don't even know what they put in it, olives. And then I forget what this is called. It just has chickpeas and is that spinach? I literally have no idea. Anyways, if you're a picky eater, do not come to Cornell. Okay, it's 2.30 now and I'm going to my last class, which starts at 2.40. I'm going back up the slope and I did this to myself because I didn't have to go back to my room, but I wanted to. So here we go again. It's 3.30. I just finished my Italian class. I started coughing and could not stop. So I just like stepped out of the class. Literally so embarrassing. I'm about to go downhill on the slope, which is the best part because I don't have to struggle. Here it is. Lovely. So I'm back in my room. I'm done with classes for today. I don't really have much else to do for the day except work. I have a paper due on Monday and I have to like read a bunch of texts for it. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm not gonna be doing anything that's very entertaining. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. For the rest of the day, I'm just gonna do my homework, probably get started on editing this video and then get dinner later and go to sleep. <laughs> so. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry again that this is seven months later. I'll try to film some more and get my friends to be in some more videos. Halloween is coming up soon, so maybe I'll do like a Halloween type video, but I don't know what it'll be. So I'm not making any promises, <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.